The Big 12 is in town and that means big business for KC. Always a fun time down at the uh, Power and Light District and this morning Sarah Plake joins us from downtown outside Sprint Center. So Sarah, this is bringing millions of dollars to Kansas City, right? Right, it means big bucks and also big bucks for all these restaurants and bars down here. We're outside of Johnny's Tavern. They're opening at 7 o'clock. Other bars around here are opening super early as well. We're here with the uh, one of the owners of Johnny's, uh, Kyle Witherspoon. People are already in there, like, reserving tables, right? Breakfast, Bloody Marys, and basketball. <laughs> what what awesome. a better way to spend a Thursday morning. That's exactly right. Yeah, so tell me about how, you know, people are already requesting tables and uh, how busy do you expect it to be? You know, I think with the Iowa State and KU playing the early sessions, it's going to be uh, a lot of fun and really busy right out of the gates this morning. And I've had guys over the last several years that have come in early in the morning, so now they text me, <laughs> you know, a week in advance, hey, what time can I get in there? I want the same oh, table. Some of it's superstition, a little bit. I think so. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for talking to us. It's going to be a big week for you guys. Thanks, guys. All right. And so, you know, of course, this means big bucks for uh, the rest of Kansas City. Hotels are full. Uh, all the bars and the restaurants, of course, if you can't get your ticket into the Sprint Center, they're all sold out, but you can still hang out down here. Going to be a lot of activities. And uh, so this just really builds our reputation. And so it gives us a better chance for getting other big events here in Kansas City. What's important to that athlete is people in the stands. So selling out every year is a huge accomplishment. It's a huge win for us. So not only does it keep Big 12 here, but it helps us attract other events like men's regionals coming up in a couple weeks with the NCAA. They know we're a basketball community, and that helps us attract more and more events like that. Right, and I was told that basketball in the month of March alone is going to bring in $25 million for Kansas City. So today, come out here, have a good time. Pep rallies for K-State and KU. Of course, KU facing off at 2.30, and we've got all the information online, kshb.com.